The first reverb pedals ever came out in 1985. And since then, reverb has come a long way. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you my favorite reverb pedals that go above and beyond the normal sounds. Before we jump right into the episode, I'm gonna lay out the rules that I kind of made for this one. And they're really simple. I don't wanna play any spring reverbs, hall, plate, that kind of stuff, because I love it, but it's not extraordinary. So any sounds you hear me play today are sounds that I'm pulling out of these pedals that are really, really extraordinary. And I think that'll speak for itself. Any of the pedals I'm playing, pretty much I could confidently say you can pull classic sounds out of them. But that's not what I'm doing for this show. I'll do that later, and I promise I'll do many, many reverb episodes. Also, I'm just playing a clean amp, a guitar, no overdrives, no fuzz. So when you hear the sound of these verbs, it's just the sound of the verb. And then you can use your imagination and think about what if I added this or that to it and, you know, get into stacking scenarios. But I want to give you a good, good picture of how cool some of these reverb sounds are. Also, it's going to be a chill episode. Um, so a lot of reverb. I'm playing guitar. I know like four chords. So I'm going to play them over and over. And I think it's a good chance to just hit play and take a nap, you know, lay down, go to sleep. I might even fall asleep. So I think it's just time to let's do this. Let's jump right in. The first extraordinary reverb for today is the Walrus Slow. I actually had the Fathom slated in. I found some amazing sounds in that, but then Walrus releases a new pedal and Colt sent this out to me. So I gotta say, it's super, super cool. This is a multi-texture reverb. It's been out for probably a week or two now. It's really new. And I'm using the dark mode and the sync waveform. Um, this has a hold sustain function as well. It's super cool and I love this lower octave thing that's going on underneath the verb. I have it set really faint, but man, it really brings anything I'm playing to it to life in a new way. Next is the Old Blood Noise Endeavors Procession. This has a ton of sounds. It does some really crazy stuff as anything that Brady and the Old Blood Noise crew make. And I just wanna read the copy here from my phone from their website because I think it's worthy of being read. You ready? Out of the hazy, sand-blown distance, something comes forth. Moving slowly, moving softly. It is seen and just as quickly lost. It echoes in the open air, a voice on the wind. It's a procession, an cavalcade making its way through the deserts of a distant planet, the sounds of another world, or something along those lines. It actually says that. This is a really cool pedal. I'm using the tremolo setting, so you have a moving trim underneath this crazy big ambient verb, and I love it. Duncan Silver Lake Dynamic Reverb. This is fairly new as well, and it has a setting on it that's called Swell, and it is like this mixture of so many things I love. It's like the old auto swell from the Green Line 60L4 or a slow gear mixed with just beautiful ambient reverb, and it's so tweakable, it's crazy. I mean, you're talking, you can put modulation, You've got all these stereo outs, you've got expression. It's, it's really, really impressive, and they're killing it. Seymour Duncan's new line of stuff is amazing. You're gonna be seeing it more in the vlogs, but check this out. The 
next up is Cusack Music's Resound Reverb. So Cusack is a genius and he's helped me finish designs like the Muffaletta. He actually builds a lot of our circuit boards for us and other builders. He's just an amazing dude, a true engineer, a brilliant, brilliant pedal designer. Um, so if you haven't heard of his stuff, definitely go check it out. But this pedal, this is one of his newest and it's super cool. So it has uh, eight different reverb modes. I'm choosing number five, it's called Glisten. And I think it's really unique. Um, it does a similar thing here, what you would put in like the shimmer category, but it's quite different because it has almost this LFO movement of a tremolo. It has this low octave and then the high octave feels so much like an organ. Like it feels like a Hammond organ up high to me, uh, depending on where you have the knobs. And that's kind of how I set this. It's really amazing. So check it out. Ventress Dual Reverb by Source Audio. I recently became friends with these guys. I got all the units, I've tried them all, and they are hands down killing it in the DSP game, the digital reverbs and delays. And there is a setting on this. It is called Offspring, it has nothing to do with the 90s band at all, but it is really crazy. I actually argued with myself for 20, 30 minutes in here, probably looked crazy, about, is this a delay? Is this a reverb? Is this a delay? I just decided it is a reverb because of how it responds and what it's doing. But it is this rhythmic, melodic, crazy thing that ties into the tempo. And I've never heard anything like it. And you're about to hear it. reverb. Before I talk about this reverb, I have to talk about my failures concerning my good friend Philippe. First of all, I showed the Hawaiian pizza as one of my favorite pedals of last year. And in that episode, I called him Felipe. It is the Hawaiian pizza, sweet and savory by my good friend Felipe. 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 Even though I've known him for years and knew his name was Philippe. It was just a long day. You know, then I do Octave Fuzz 101 and I teach everybody, show everybody all the classic Octave Fuzzes. And then I'm like, then here are my favorite modern ones. But one of the Octave Fuzzes that is modern, that is in my absolute top three, he makes it and I forgot about it. So it's this one. You need to check it out. So I'm like, oh, for two right off the bat. But this time I get to redeem myself and I get to say, that this is such a cool reverb pedal. It's like dirty, lo-fi, spring reverb from the surface of Mars. That's what I'm calling this, because it's super cool. And then you engage this foot switch, and it goes into feedback and holds, and the distortion grows, and it's spectacular. So, Philippe, I commend you on this and all of your pedals. And if you're watching this, go to his website, check his stuff out, just for the branding alone. I'm gonna move on and play this, but just check his stuff out, it's amazing.
The Dark World by Chase Bliss. So if you know anything about Joel and his company Chase Bliss, you know that every pedal is packed with so many features, it's almost unbelievable. He's a wizard, and if you're a pedal builder in this industry, basically you just walk up and you're like, hey Joel, wizard, wizard Joel. And that's just how we refer to Joel. He's amazing. I mean, look at this, dip switches on the back, it's like a billion settings. We're all jealous, all of us, because he crams so much stuff into these pedals. He's brilliant. I'm gonna quit talking about him and talk about his reverb. So here's the deal. I love you, Joel, but here's the deal. Black on this setting here. So his mod shim and then a black mode. It is incredible. It's like some type of ducking reverb. So that means as I play, it goes down but then as I stop playing, it comes back up into the mix. So it has some of that going on. It's reading the input of my guitar so it can do that. And it's just super cool. It's almost like this infinite hold setting, like, I don't know, but I know it's really cool and you gotta hear it. The Earthquaker Devices Afterneath. This has been out for several years, but the sounds that it has in it are some of the first times I ever heard these sounds. And now I see them in a lot of pedals, even some of them I'm showing today. And it's really amazing. I have to read this copy as well. It's so good. The Afterneath sounds a lot like it looks. A wizard in a cave in a box. You are the wizard or sorceress, if you prefer. And the cave is your instrument signal, vast, expansive, and magical. Roll a d20 to proceed. Yes, this thing's amazing. I'm using it as this big, massive pad, but yet my clean signal can be tweaked in a way where it still stays super upfront. It's just crazy. It is as ambient as ambient can get. Super, super extraordinary. <laughs> I have the Astronomer by Matthews Effects. This is the early version of version two with onboard toggles, but Rick, who's a good friend, he just rebranded his whole line um, and reworked some of his pedals. This is the brand new version. This is a few days old. Uh, switches are on the side. It looks so cool. It's got the manual printed on the back. He even read it as packaging. It's just super killer stuff. Like, check this out. I have them all here, but there's the chemist um, in the box. I love this stuff. I love the way he thinks about pedals, and I think they sound great. So on this Astronomer, it is basically a reverb pedal. He says that harnesses the power of celestial bodies. So I believe that. It's very otherworldly. I'm using a setting on here that's basically this really great shimmer sound. So it has octaves. It's just a beautiful reverb sound. And this has multi-functions. You can actually have two sounds with the two foot switches and it's great for live or studio use as well. but definitely never least is the GFI Specular Tempest. I have a good friend, session player here in town, just a phenomenal musician. And he has two of these on his board. I'd never seen them. I walked up and he was showing them to me. I had to have them. So I met these guys at NAMM, got a hold of this. You've seen some of their other stuff in the past video from last Thursday. 
but this thing's really, really powerful. I'm using a setting called Vortex, and it is uh, just a really tweakable, big ambient verb that has this chorus flange dynamic going on. So uh, you hit a chord or you hit a note, and then modulation is swirling in the decay, and I love it. I love everything about it. It's super, super cool. pedals in this room and I've used reverb for 20 years so I'm very attached to certain things so I'm going to mention some honorable mentions that are very very worthy uh, because they do really really cool extraordinary reverbs uh, number one is the RV 500 by Boss there's a setting on here called fast decay now this pedal does a lot of the sounds you've heard today that fast decay setting is super, super cool. The Eventide H9, this pedal has actually been on my board for almost five years. At one point I ran two H9s and there's uh, some reverb settings like one particularly called Black Hole. That's amazing to swell into with a volume pedal to use in a very dynamic way as a pad when I get into situations where I don't have synth players or keyboard players but I need to hold and have a very ambient texture of the band mix going on, I can pretty much fake a second musician underneath my guitar with this effect called Black Hole. And this thing does every effect known to man, so it's a really valuable tool. The Deadbeat Reverberation Station, it has a lot of the classics, but I love the reverse. The reverse setting on this is really, really spectacular. And then I've shown this before, but it's it deserves a second mention the Fender Marine Layer Reverb. It has a type switch here, and if you go to Special, it has some nice big shimmer, otherworldly sounds as well. This whole line is great. They continue to put stuff out. It feels like every few months, and everything's great. I'm playing it all, and I love where Fender is taking their effects. Yeah. Today's record time is brought to you by Trent Dabbs, The Way We Look at Horses. Trent Dabbs is a solo artist, but he's also a writer, and this is my favorite album of his, and my favorite song of his is the title track. So on this song, there's something about it where I imagine if you hit mute on the reverb send of the mix of the song, it just wouldn't feel the same. It would lose the magic. So that's why I chose this record. It's really phenomenal, and I want you to hear that song especially. Tell me in the comments below a song or an album that's really made by the way reverb affects all the instruments and the mix. I want to hear about that and you need to listen to this. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. In the comments below, I would love to hear what your favorite reverb pedal and sound that I played today was. And also, I'd love to know about any other reverbs you have that fit into this category. Tell me about them and tell me how you use them. If you like this episode, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to get notifications every every time we post a new episode on Thursdays. There's also a link in the description to Reverb where they've built this really cool page that shows every piece of gear that I played today and gear from past episodes. Until next time, have a wonderful day.